This is what remains of 2631 Upper Line Road in New Orleans. A dresser props open the back door where looters likely entered. The inside, littered with memories destroyed by mildew and mold. Out back, small reminders of the place Bruce Eugene once called home. It's been almost three months since Hurricane Katrina struck New Orleans. Almost three months since Grambling State's quarterback took the field with renewed purpose. I try to use the hurricane as motivation. You can, you can run my family away, but you know, you won't destroy me, you won't tear me down. And that was kind of like my mentality. Written by hand on the back of a t-shirt is his game day reminder. Hold down the N.O. I play with that underneath my shoulder pads every game, and you know, I play with that on my back, and uh, you know, the love and all that I have for my mom and the rest of my family and my heart, I've just been you know, excelling on, on the field. But it is off the field where Eugene's actions have been most meaningful. As Katrina approached New Orleans, his mother, Zena, evacuated 90 miles west to Franklin, Louisiana to stay with relatives. But three days later, when the levees broke and the city began to flood, when the reality hit that residents would not be returning home, the quarterback called for his mother, sister, and baby brother to be with him. He knew it didn't take much to twist my arm because we are a close-knit family and we play, we play together all the time. When they arrived, they joined a dozen other friends and family seeking shelter, and Eugene's three-bedroom house became home to 18. The way they were acting, you wouldn't have thought that a hurricane just hit New Orleans because you know, everybody was just sitting around laughing and joking, just enjoying each other's presence. <laughs> we had a disaster. We lost everything. But we were all still here together. We were friends and family all together. They realized how much they had lost last week when they returned to their home for the first time since Katrina hit. What did you see? A graveyard. People had kicked in our door, had kicked in our back door, had kicked in our window. They had stole the lives of my trophies. You know, I was more hurt for my mom because, you know, my mom cherished them trophies. Some were salvaged. But Zena says 13 trophies were taken or destroyed. 13 pieces of proof that her children had succeeded. My trophies, that's personal to me. Because I feel like I've, I know they've done their best and someone else have seen them do their best and they acknowledged it. But she still has this picture, the only photograph of her family that remains. And in it smiles Zena's greatest trophies, including Bruce, the one whose actions this fall, on and off the field, have provided her with what she calls the time of her life. We learned that there's nothing that can happen that we cannot get through together. Wherever there's a disaster, there's always a silver lining. You just have to find it.